What makes a good charcuterie board? Three carbs, three meats, three cheeses. At least that's Talia Pesolano's rule. She's the owner of Talia's Dirty Italian and knows a thing or two about charcuterie boards since she makes them for a living. And to start, you need a showstopper. This is what you're going to decorate around, so it's your centerpiece. Talia's a fan of a big cheese ball, but you could also do a dipper spread. I like to start with the cheese, and I like to place any kind of really white cheese away from one another so you're able to tell the difference. And then she folds and fans out her meat, placing each one next to a cheese. Peep the salami river. I'm very into, like, separating color. And when it comes to your carbs... I always like to kind of overdo it. I want to make sure that each section has the threes all together. You can probably stop there, but if you're feeling ambitious, feel free to add some fruit or marinated goods. But the rule of threes still applies. Talia's homemade marinated mushrooms kind of blew my mind. Wow. Stick in some rosemary or thyme, and just like that, we're done.